fuck you. Why did you start making music when I want to talk? Uh, welcome back to Crit Matter. And yes, I'm still sick, but um, we just play. Uh, we are down here at the park, so I think we just go back home. Yeah, as it seems, I think I only some bonus things here. To, I mean, to get bonus points, but I think that's not very important. So we go back. Um, actually, don't know. I guess talk to Miss Daughter. David, can I get you something? No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, we go down to the office, I guess. Oh, there seems to be more written here now. Or not. I wanted to get those things done today. What's RNG the voice? Is that this? Or this? Became more right, and that it wasn't imposter. No, not imposter. What is it, Laura? Keep going, darling. Give me a few more letters. Important R T A and important something. Is that it? Yes. Now what do we do now? Well, what happened the day before? The experiment. I thought that would give us a clue. I suffered some memory loss around the time of the accident. The appointment book isn't helping. Oh. But if something unusual happened, perhaps I mentioned it at dinner. If I did, Simon Hellborn might remember. Who's Hellborn? I don't know. I can't go in. Is that the detective? David. No. No, I'm. Simon's business card with his phone number. Oh, it's a psychologist. Okay, let's go call him. <coughs> Hello, David Stiles speaking. Fine, thanks, Veronica. Is Simon available this afternoon. It's urgent. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. The forgotten memories are not lost. David, I couldn't believe it when my secretary said you were here. How are you? Simon, I need your help. I've offered it a million times, anything. We had dinner the night before the accident. Amanda, Laura, you and I. Do you remember? Of course I remember. That was the last time you saw Laura. Well, I don't. How I would you say it like that? that day. It's not unusual for trauma to cause memory loss. Yes, I know. Do you remember what I talked about at dinner? Did I mention any of my students? Not that I recall. Why? What's this about, David? Damn. What about Amanda? She might remember something. If it's really important, I could try hypnosis. I've had pretty good success helping patients recover memories. I didn't think about that. Can we do it now? If you like. Lie down on the couch. Try your magic. All right, David. I'm going to have you relax. Fully and completely relax. Let go. 
You're waking up now, slowly waking up, and it's the morning of October the 21st. You get out of bed. That's the first thing you do. I took a shower. What did you think about in the shower? I was in a foul mood. I don't know why. You showered and got dressed. What did you do after that? Did you have breakfast? I guess. I had breakfast with Laura. I'm not seeing it. Sometimes we remember things the way we wished they'd happened rather than the way they actually occurred. Okay. Try again. Maybe we skipped it. I skipped breakfast. I must have gone straight to university. No. Okay. I'm not getting so it. We had breakfast with it's Hadley. All right, let's back up. I had breakfast with Hedley, my dean. Where was this? At Dreadhill House? A coffee shop? The university? I think at my Christchurch Hall. We ate at Christchurch Hall. Nothing's coming up. Take your time. Coffee shop. We met at a coffee shop in Oxford. Oh, David, don't let it upset you, sir. The only people who read that journal are the most conservative scientists. People like Linkweller himself. And they already dislike you. <laughs> well, it's true. Original thinkers are bound to have their critics. Don't let it discourage you. I remember. Linkweller's rebuttal had just come out the day before. That's why I was upset and why I had breakfast with Headley. Right. You mentioned that at dinner. Now we're both remembering. Very good, David. Now you're leaving the coffee shop. What did you do next? Go to did you have classes that day? As the infant matures, we see that connections that will last a lifetime are vital message passageways that carry... Yes, it was a lecture. On what subject? I didn't really listen now. I lectured on infant dream life. Oh, that must be wrong. Neural connectivity in infants. <coughs> yes, I'm sure that was it. Did anything happen during the lecture? Had anything to do with the student? A single brain network can involve billions of neurons. Multiply yep. that by... Yes? Ah. <laughs> so, you're suggesting I could levitate or see through women's clothing if only I'd needed to do it when I was three months old? <laughs> well, how about teleporting to Mars? <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know about those particular skills, Andrews, but one skill you apparently needed at three months' end was the ability to pointlessly interrupt. As I was saying, despite the extraordinary number of neural connections that we do form, there are still... Who? There was something. One of Linkweller's cronies. Oh. I was annoyed, humiliated by the time I left class. It's all right. Try to remember the emotion without reliving it. What did you do after class? Went for a walk? I went for a walk. That's not brilliant. I must have had another class. No, damn. What did my appointment book say? I don't know, I didn't read it. I had office hours. There's something. I, I'm feeling very anxious. Take a deep breath. This is just a memory, it's not real. Try to watch it impersonally. There's someone at the door. You don't have to continue. No, I, I do. I said... Linkwell? Enter. Or oh, Laura? Or oh, not a woman? Yes? What can I do for you? Who is it? I only see a figure. A wild figure. Is it a student? I think so. Female. It was a female. All right. Very good. Relax. There was a female student standing in your office, and she said... I'm Dr. Stiles. What do you want? I read your article. I have this thing, this power. Oh, and what power might that be? Outbound flight to Mars? I thought you could...
could help me. You were the only one who would understand. Yes, well, apparently not. It's been very amusing. You may leave at any time. Why were you so rude? David, are you all right? I guess I was pissed off or not. Oh my god. I thought it was a prank. Laura, she remembered. Laura, what are you talking about? What has this student got to do with anything? I can't explain. Thanks for the help. But David... I wish someone would do... It would hypnotize me too. Like, to get some info. So, I guess the RNG has more written than her? No, not yet. Don't want now. No. Then where do we go? Well, his place disappeared. I suffered some memory loss around the time of... But if something unusual happened... If I did, Simon Helborn might... Mm. I wanted to get... Oh, okay. I guess I have to finish all the bonus stuff first before I can trigger the experiment thing. So, uh, see you in a moment, guys. Okay, so I finished all the bonus stuff in the park. The only thing left in our is the experiment, so I guess we just go into the melee. Putting on hard drive and resize. Start! And what? What do we do? Oh, okay. It would take hours to look through all the data. I need to zero in on a specific time. Is that? When did I didn't I click on forty five yet? I've never seen anything like that. I wonder if it could have been a power surge. Hmm. Promising, but it doesn't leave me much data to work with. I'll switch to my older MRI equipment tonight. It should be less sensitive to power spikes. Whatever it is that happened, it happened the same way both nights. That rules out a glitch in the program. And that means we do what? can see in the report Sam wrote there's like the eyewitness reports are like around the time where we saw now on the how do you call that just like the brain scans the thing there yeah. it's pretty much the same what the fuck it's pretty much the same timing um, uh, 
I don't really know what else we have to do here now though. I think talk to Miss Dalton, that's like the only idea I always have. David, can I get you some? No, I'm fine. This time she has something to say. What about me? Have you seen Samantha? I need to speak with her. No. She's probably at Oxford. Why is she never around but a person bloody well needs her? What are you looking at? I'm paying her salary, aren't I? I never said a word. I did notice that you've gone out quite a lot today. You mustn't overdo it. See how it upsets you. And with Sam in the house and other things. You mustn't push too hard. I don't plan to make a habit of it. Is that the new electro meter? Nice. Anybody know the whereabouts of Miss Everett? Little Miss All for One and One for All? She's done a disappearing act. Sam does seem a little unreliable. I'm sure she has a good reason. She went to enough trouble to get us here tonight. Never mind, we'll proceed without her. Oh yeah, we are at, uh, at school. Forgot. Close your eyes. <laughs> what? just said I could hurt? Why didn't you fucking move? Oh, idiot. The hell? Franco, no one else was there. What? The hell is going on? Who are you? Not oh, David. Samantha. Where's Houdini now again. I found that in my bed this morning. If that rabbit's not careful, he's going to end up as a pair of bunny slippers. Oh, God. I'm sorry. He must really like you. He's never gotten in bed with anyone but me before. He's not that kind of rabbit. He's not going to be any kind of a rabbit if he does it again. <laughs> and you? Where were you last night? I... I realize that you're not a scientist, Samantha, but there are such principles as test conditions. How on earth can I conduct a valid experiment if I can't even keep something as basic as the test subjects the same every night? I'm sorry. I thought I could get home on time, but I got delayed and... I mean, how are the other students to take this seriously when you, my assistant, come and go as you please? Do you think... What is that? What a goose egg. Are you all right? What happened? I'm fine. I fell down some Just stairs yesterday. Truth. I had to sit for a while. That's um why I was late. Any double vision? Headache? Aww, no, I'm fine, cute. really. Well, I think we should go to the hospital right away. Please, <laughs> I really don't want to do that. I'm fine. Look, is there anything specific you wanted me to do today? Actually, there was something. How well do you know Angela and Helena? Not well. Do you have any reason to suspect them? Yes, but don't ask me what. I don't have time to explain it. I'd like you to research their backgrounds. How long they've been at Oxford, where they were before, and anything else you can find out. And I'd like you to go over to the weight room and see if anyone saw someone lurking about the place last night. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Report back to me later today. 
And you're not off the hook for last night. Don't do it again. <coughs> Helena and Angela? Very interesting. I don't know what he's thinking. You better stay put, Houdini. I think you're running out of chances with the big guy. Well, guys, um, so this is the end of chapter five. And the beginning of chapter six, and we're playing as Sam again. I think chapter six is the last chapter. Although that wouldn't really make sense now, would it? We have eight axes, except we're not going to go until the end. Today's would be race walking. I know I think the chap I think chapter six is the last chapter, but I'm not. So we are going to do these things. Yeah, we did I think there were probably two or three more parts if chapter six is the last one and which I think I'm not sure now. Anyway, leave a like, a comment, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.